Hello everyone, this is Angshuman and welcome to Aglasim School. So today we are going to discuss the solution for chapter 4 of NCRT class 7 science book. So friends, chapter 4 is about heat. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter at a glance. Heat is a form of energy that is transferred between two substances at different temperatures. Temperature is the degree of hotness of an object which is measured by the device called thermometer. Clinical thermometer is used to measure our body temperature that ranges from 35 degrees centigrade to 42 degrees centigrade because the normal temperature of human body is 37 degrees centigrade. And for other purposes, laboratory thermometer is used that ranges from minus 10 degrees centigrade to 110 degrees centigrade. Now let's know what are conductors. Conductors are materials that allow heat to pass through them easily and insulators are the materials that do not allow heat to pass through them. Some examples of conductors are iron, silver, copper, aluminium, brass, etc. And the bad conductors of heat are glass, wood, air, cork, water, cotton, wool, etc. The heat always flows from the body of high temperature to the body of lower temperature and there are three ways in which heat can flow from one object to another object. These are conduction, convection and radiation. So friends, this was all for this chapter. Now let's move to the question answers. So the first question of this chapter is state similarities and differences between the laboratory thermometer and clinical thermometer and the answer to it will be Similarities Both clinical and laboratory thermometer have long narrow uniform glass tube 2. The bulbs of both the thermometers have mercury in them 1. The temperature range of clinical thermometer is from 35 degrees centigrade to 42 degrees centigrade while that of laboratory thermometer is from minus 10 degrees centigrade to 110 degrees centigrade 2. Clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of human body. However, laboratory thermometer cannot be used to measure the temperature of human body. 3. The least count of both the thermometers differs. 4. Unlike clinical thermometer that can be tilted, laboratory thermometer is kept upright while reading the temperature values. Now let's move to question number 2. Give two examples each of conductors and insulators of heat. And the answer to it will be two examples of conductors of heat are aluminium and iron. Two examples of insulators are wood and plastic. Now let's move to question number three. Fill in the blanks. A. The hotness of an object is determined by its dash and the answer will be temperature. B. Temperature of boiling water cannot be measured by a dash thermometer and the answer to it will be clinical c temperature is measured in degree dash and the answer will be celsius d no medium is required for transfer of heat by the process of dash and the answer to it will be radiation e a cold steel spoon is dipped in a cup of hot milk it transfers heat to its other end by the process of dash and the answer to it will be conduction F. Cloths of dashed colors absorb heat better than cloths of light colors and the answer will be dark. Now let's move to question number 4 which is match the following. Land breeze blows during night. Sea breezes blows during day. Dark colored clothes are preferred during winter. Light colored clothes are preferred during summer. Now let's move to question number 5. Discuss why wearing more layers of clothes during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of cloth. And the answer will be, during winters we prefer wearing more layers of clothes than just one thick piece of cloth because air gets trapped in between the various clothing layers. Being a poor conductor of heat, air prevents heat loss from our body. Hence, layers of clothes keep us warmer than a single layer. Now let's see question number 6. Look at figure that is given on your screen right now. Mark where the heat is being transferred by the conduction. 
by convection and by radiation. The answer to it is also given on your screen that is transfer of heat from burner to pan is by radiation. Transfer of heat from pan to water is by conduction and transfer of heat within water is by convection. Now let's see question number 7. In places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer walls of the houses be painted white. Explain. And the answer will be, in places of hot climate, it is advised to paint the outer walls of houses as white because a light color such as white reflects back most of the heat that falls on it. Therefore, the houses are painted white to keep them cool. Now let's see question number 8. 1 liter of water at 30 degrees centigrade is mixed with 1 liter of water at 50 degrees centigrade. The temperature of the mixture will be and the options are 80 degrees centigrade, more than 50 degrees centigrade but less than 80 degrees centigrade, 20 degrees centigrade and between 30 degrees centigrade and 50 degrees centigrade. And the answer to it will be the temperature of the mixture will be between 30 degrees centigrade and 50 degrees centigrade. Now let's move to question number 9. An iron ball at 40 degrees Celsius is dropped in a mug containing water at 40 degrees Celsius. The heat will A. Flow from iron ball to water B. Not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball C. Flow from water to iron ball or D. Increase the temperature of both. And the answer will be the heat will not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball as both the substances are the same temperature. Now let's move to question number 10. A wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end A becomes cold by the process of conduction, B becomes cold by the process of convection, C becomes cold by the process of radiation or D doesn't become cold and the answer will be its other end doesn't become cold as wood is a bad conductor of heat. Now let's see question number 11. Stainless steel pans are usually provided with copper bottoms. The reason for this could be A. Copper bottoms make pan more durable. B. Such pans appear colorful. C. Copper is better conductor of heat than the stainless steel or D. Copper is easier to clean than the stainless steel. And the answer to it will be copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. So students this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked the video and if you did then don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And do subscribe our channel for more such NCRT videos. If you still have any doubts regarding this chapter then you can ask us by writing in the comment section below. See you soon, till then, bye bye.